Welcome to Sitam Chat Online. My name is Purity and I'm excited to just uh, share this word with you. Uh, in our previous conversation, in our previous video, we talked about um, a great man, a great man who did miracles, a number of miracles, who received a double portion from his predecessor, Elijah. And uh, this is the great man, the great prophet, Elisha. And we talked about how God knows what you need where to get it and how to find it because he's, he's all-knowing because he's a great friend and today we are going to continue with the same uh, chapter the chapter 6 of 2nd Kings um, which is so loaded it's very loaded so today we are going to look at just after this miracle happens with the sons of the prophet uh, what God does just after that through his servant Elisha the prophet. Now the king of Syria was always up against the Israelites and he was planning to go against the Israelites uh, and beat them in war and every time he could plan to just come and fight the Israelites God would reveal to Elisha and uh, Elisha especially uh, of course when when the king of Israel would send for him he would tell them exactly where what uh, the king of Syria is planning where they are going to attack and how they are going to come and every time the king of Syria would plan for war against Israel the plan would be foiled by the grace and the help of God through his servant the prophet Elisha so what happens? The king of Syria gets very angry and, and he goes to his men and he asks them, so who amongst you always goes to talk about what we are planning against Israel? Because we don't seem to be succeeding. Little did the guy know that there is a God in heaven who was backing the Israelites, who was for them, they are his children, his people called by his name and he was out fighting their battles so what does he do he actually gets one of their men respond and tell them king there is this man of god called elisha who tells the king what who knows what you're even doing in your in your inner chambers what who knows what you do even in the secret place because god reveals it to him he was very angry so what does the king of syria do he plans, he plots, he makes strategies, he puts plans together on how to get um, Elisha and destroy him, uh, maybe confine him so that he's able to fight the Israelites without disruptions. And what happens when he sends out for the prophet Elisha? Um, of course, uh, it is told of him that the armies, he, in fact, he released armies with horses and chariots and armies not just one person he releases armies with horses and chariots to go and capture the man of God Elisha and he was told this guy is in Dothan so the Bible keep talks of how uh, when he sends uh, these people to go and capture the armies with the horses to go and capture Elisha the servant of Elisha was very scared he was so scared, so scared, that he came to the servant of God and told him what had happened in the armies. And, and just maybe just to read for you part of this conversation from 2 Kings chapter 6, uh, verse 15, all the way to verse 20, the Bible says, And when the servant of the man of God arose early and went out, there was an army surrounding the city with horses and chariots. And his servant said to him, Alas, my master, what shall we do? So he answered, Do not fear, for those who are with us are more than those who are with him. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray, open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. It's very interesting that is just up to verse 17 uh, 15 to verse 17 it's interesting that this young man the servant goes out and finds out that they have been surrounded by armies a big army with horses and chariots and comes very scared and tells the servant of God you know we have been surrounded there is danger uh, 
Is it, isn't it interesting that in life, many of the times, as believers, we find ourselves feeling very scared when situations come our way, when we, we get challenges thrown our way, when God allows uh, trials to come our way, we feel pressed, we feel pushed to a corner, we feel surrounded, we feel very afraid, we feel very scared. We feel overwhelmed. We feel like we've come to a wit end. Yet, it's interesting because we are talking about how God is powerful, how God is able to turn around our stories. And uh, what does Elisha tell the young man? He tells him, those who are with us are more than those who are against us. I came to tell you that whatever situation Whatever opposition, whatever uh, challenge that has been thrown your way or, or God has allowed to come your way is not greater than the power of God that surrounds you. It is not greater even if an army of people have come against you and you know that you're on the right path and you know that God is by your side, you should not be afraid. Because those who are with you are more than those who are against you. Naturally, even when we face rejection in life, it's easy for us to feel alone. We feel like there is no one who really likes me. And you know the enemy really capitalizes on that, especially with the mentor and thought processes. He's always trying to put a signature. Yes, indeed, you're useless. You're not uh, hopeful. You have no future. Can't you see that nothing is working out for you? I came to remind you, those who are with you, the help of God that is at hand, that you can leverage on, that you can claim today, is greater than your challenge that you're up against today, than every circumstance that the enemy can throw your way than any bottomless pit that you find yourself even if you're um, struggling or battling a health challenge there is no big thing that is beyond the reach of God so Elisha prays for the young man something very interesting happens God opens the eyes of this young man remember that the young man before had seen an army of with horses and chariots just that but when God opens his eyes to see, and God answers the prayer of the prophet, he's able to see an army of chariots of fire, horses and chariots of fire. There is be more than beyond the army, like the armies that the Syrian king had sent. Our God is a consuming fire. He is powerful. He can consume every every strategy, every scheme of the enemy. He he's a man of war. It's very exciting to know that God does, does, uh, does not just move with an army. He actually surrounded the young man. So Elijah was surrounded by an army of horses and chariots of fire. That is so comforting. That is very encouraging to know that God will go to any uh, distance, amount of distance, to, to see that you, you sail through, to see that you succeed, to see that his power is, and remember his power is beyond any princi principality of this world, any work of darkness, any battle that the enemy can throw your way, he is great. He is a consuming fire. So is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything that you are going through life and you think it is beyond the power of God? It is beyond the reach of God? There is nothing. In fact, if you go through down the conversation, you discover that uh, the prophet was so comfortable because he knew the God that he believed in. He actually says, he prays one more prayer, strike these men with blindness and God answered and he was able to lead them out of the city and they found themselves in a strange land they could not capture the servant of God God is watching over your back God is watching over his promises over your life to perform what he has said he will do do not give up never ever give up not even a single day as long as you're breathing and you can hear the sound of my voice so are you there you're saying, I've, I have been feeling like I have been surrounded 
by circumstances that don't seem to go away, that have been very persistent, that have been, have overwhelmed me. Are you there? I came to remind you because as we speak his word right now, as you're listening in, if you have faith, God is already setting you free from chains of darkness, from trial, from trouble. He's giving you grace to overcome. He's performing a miracle for you, for you to get a job that you've been waiting for and you have been crying for the last six years. He is coming through for you right now, even as we speak his word, because his word is alive and it's sharper than a double-edged sword. Are you willing to believe that God is beyond whatever you're up against, whatever armies that have surrounded you? My prayer for you, even as we, we, we come to the end of this conversation, is that may God open your eyes to see that those that are with you are more than those that are against you. Do not believe any liar of the enemy. Believe the report of the Lord and he is going to set you loose and set you on a purposeful direction in life. Thank you for watching Sitam Church Online. It's always a joy to have you come and just join us even as we encourage and sharpen one another with the word of God. You can continue with this conversation. If you need specialized prayer, send us an inbox. We are here 24 seven looking out for you because God has an agenda for your life and you cannot afford to miss, it out, miss out on it. Follow us on our uh, um, IG platform. Follow us at the Twitter platform. Send us a DM. Subscribe to your YouTube channel, our YouTube channel where we have messages every day, 24-7 in the morning and in the evening. And we are excited to hear. Send us also testimonies. Let's hear what God has been doing in your life, even as we share on this platform. My name is Purity. Thank you for watching Sitam Church Online. The Lord bless you.